Hello again everybody, this is Joseph, and today we're going to go and go over because I got some emails about from people about how to actually read a schematic, and it's really, uh, it's really confusing at times, and you really have to know the, 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 the components, the basics of it, and then you have to try to analyze and figure out what controls what. Let's start with the basic. The basic symbols. You always start with the symbols. Now, over here, obviously, is a battery. And the battery will have a positive and a negative, like you see over here. Two terminals. Inside, there could be many other cells. Like a car battery could have six cells in it. Each one is 2.1, and that's what gives you 12.6. It's a battery, a source. This is a generator. This is another type of source, but an AC source. As you know, a protection is needed in, a, in any circuit. This is a fusible link, which we use quite often in a automotive, also protection. This is a fuse, a symbol for a fuse, and this is a circuit breaker. A fuse, once it blows, that's it. It goes. Circuit breaker can be re reset to be active again in the circuit. So these are the tip, different types of clock spring. We find it in the steering wheel for the horn circuit. And ground over here, G101 denotes a ground. So look at the all these things. Gang switch, and I'm going to show you an example of that. When one switch goes this way, the other switch also goes this way. I'm going to show you an example. I call these Siamese twins. When one goes, the other one goes. This dictates it's going to another part of the schematic. This tells you this is a splice of many uh, wires together, many connections together. Whenever you see this, incomplete spl splice, incomplete internal splice, these are the basics. Uh, sometimes, they, sometimes you can't, you don't have time to draw the whole schematic. You have to give it these denotations. A, and then you go look for another part on the schematic for A. If it would be B, you go look for another part of schematic that would say B. Remember, these schematics are long, and you can't fit everything on one page. Motors, wherever you see M, it's a motor. That means it's, something is turning. Capacitors, whenever you see this, that means it's variable. You can change the value of it. A solenoid, active in transmissions all over. Coils are are all over in relays. You'll see that. Remember the symbols. Knock sensors, we have these. Variable resistors, heated element. They heat up when it has current. Oxygen sensors. Variable resistors, sensors. Uh, e, uh, ECT uh, sensors. IAT sensors. POTS, TPS sensors. Mass airflow sensors. That means I made a whole tutorial about these things. Photo diode means light is hitting it this way and it conducts. When the arrow is going out, that means it light emitted a diode. That means light is going out of it. It's lit and, and it's giving off light. <clears throat> so these are the basics that we use in automotive. Let's begin from the basics. We always need a power source. A battery. Could be a battery of a car, could be a power source, could be an outlet. Positive di dictates that it's DC. Positive. The other side would be ground, the negative. Start here. Number 41 fuse, 80 amps. So, one side of the battery goes to one side of the fuse. Other side of the fuse goes to two other fuses. That number of the other fuse is number 42. And another fuse, number 48. This is 40 amps. This is 30 amp fuse. This has the biggest amp. Usually it's like that. The first one has the biggest amps, and then they divide. The current will divide this way. That's why it gets smaller amps. So these actually are 70 amps together, 80 amps. 
So it doesn't matter which way you put the fuse. Somebody asked me that, and it doesn't matter. It's not. It's like a resistor, but it's not a capacitor that that um, uh, uh, polarity matters. So, like we said, from the battery, we have a connection. Again, a connection doesn't mean how many wires. Somebody asked me this, and it was a good question. A connection means I make a connection from here to here. It could be two wires together. It can be three wires together. It could be one wire together. As long as there's a connection from this point to this point. Of course, I'm not going to put three or four wires together, right? You don't want the less wiring you have, the better, the better it is. So as long as you have one connection, solid connection from here to here. Other side of fuse goes to this fuse. The other side of this, this side of the fuse. And remember, this is under hood. We're talking about automotive. It's telling you the location of all these three fuses. Now, there's relays in, in, in the fuse box. And, and it's under the hood. Like I said before in my other videos, there's also another one under the dashboard. Well, this is giving you the location exactly where it is other side of this fuse number 42 or the 40 amp fuse which is a white black wire now goes to another splice of connection so which changes now to just a white wire this goes to the ignition switch battery which is battery and ignition when you start it up you're completing this circuit so the white wire goes to this ignition switch now it becomes a yellow wire <clears throat> so one side of this is a white wire going into the ignition switch. Other side coming out from the ignition switch is yellow. Going to, and you see these fuses are numbered. Number 18 fuse, which is 7.5 amps in parentheses. Yellow going to one side. Other side of the fuse now becomes yellow black with a stripe, a black stripe. Going to this, a module. I'm going to continue on the next video then. This is part one.